And we are back! Welcome back to the channel, my name is Lagan. this is Grounded. And on today's episode, I'm gonna make something, let's go to the uh, workbench here. I think I wanna check out this sour staff. I need some sour globs, so we gotta make some of those. And I need pond moss. Hey, Lagan. Oh, hey, Willie, you're back, good. Hang on, I'm coming up there. Hold on for a second. So, what's up, Willie? I was wondering if I could practice some of my jokes on you. Uh, that joke was kinda terrible last time. The French flies thing, it's still stuck in my head. Yeah, but these are better, I promise. Just listen, listen. Ready? Ready? What do you get when you cross a spider with an eyeball? What do you get when you cross a spider with an eyeball? I don't know. A website. <laughs> okay, you didn't like that one? All right, I got another one. What do you get when you cross a spider with an ear of corn? What do you get when you cross a spider with an ear of corn? I don't, I don't know, Willie. What, what do you get? Cobwebs. Get it? Cause corn cob and spiders have webs. Cobwebs. Corn. Crossing spider with corn and cobs and webs. And <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess why I've got you here, Willie. I do have a question. Where is pond moss located at? Oh, pond moss? That's easy. All right, cool. Where's it at? In the water. Yeah, I know it's in water. Can you be more specific? No, I'm a spider on a wall with no body. How am I supposed to know where pond moss is if it's under the water? All right, I'll find it myself, Willie. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, so we're gonna need to find pond moss. However, I do know that pond moss can only be harvested using a tier three dagger. So I guess we're gonna make a tier three dagger first today. And here it is, the widow dagger. This thing is made with black widow fangs, lint rope, and super spider venom. So this does poison, uh, but we're just using it for harvesting today. However, we're gonna have a very special use for this uh, dagger at some point. All right, I've got the scuba gear. I don't have it on yet. But I'm assuming there's none down here. Yeah! I mean, I've been down here several times in this pond and haven't come across anything called pond moss. So I need to go up to the upper backyard and look up there some. I don't currently have a sour weapon, which is why I want to make the sour staff. I've got salty, I've got spicy, I've got fresh, but we don't have the sour yet. And I don't know that there's too many. I was looking through my status of all of the insects in the yard. And I think there's only like two insects, maybe three that have a weakness to sour, so it's not the most important weapon to have, uh, but it does seem like a cool one to have. I mean, a sour staff, let's go, let's, let's make it. Also, as promised, I got the prod smacker leveled up. It's a level eight mighty. It would only let me take the mighty path. I wanted to put salt on it, but it just wouldn't let me, and that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna use this to smack the crap out of things. Plus, it's got that cool charge attack where it shocks uh, does a shocking AOE, so uh, we'll, we'll put this thing to use today, I am sure. This may be a good place to start looking for any kind of pod moss uh, right here next to Castle Moldark. Where I, I know there's tiger mosquitoes everywhere, though, so this, this won't be very fun. Oh, I hit him. Wow, good for me. I'm amazing. Get over here. <laughs> what do you think of that, mosquito? Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, now you're poisoned. Now you're poisoned. You're going to die from the poisoning, mosquito. Why won't you die? There he goes. He died from the poisoning. Got him. Take that blood sack right off of you. Appreciate it. And I got my swimmies on, but there's still more mosquitoes down there. The second I go down there, they're just going to target me. We should just take them all out real quick. Or the ones at least right here. Huh. I don't know where that one went that I just shot. I think he flew under the rock. Oh, yeah. He's dumb. He doesn't understand how things work. Come on. And much faster with the spicy coltana. I keep forgetting that the mosquitoes don't like slashing, so this is probably the better weapon to use on them. Man, these things are tanks, man. For being little transparent blobs swimming around in the water, they could sure take a punch. Oh yeah, here they all come. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Hey, here's some. This has got to be it. Get it. Get it. Takes a while to harvest. Crap. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Come on. Come on. Harvest faster. There we go, I got one. I got one, I got a pond moss. I need five of these things, but I might as well try to get every single one that's here if I can. And right now, these uh, water fleas don't seem to notice me. So it looks like I have, I'm have. i free to get all the ones right here. And looks like the pond moss will just float to the surface. So you can just probably cut them loose and then go collect them from the surface once you're done chopping. Although now that I said that, none of them are floating to the surface. Uh oh, water fleas know I'm here now. They know I'm here. I've got eight. Let's go find another patch somewhere else. I wonder if there's any secrets down here. I mean, there's it's a lot of space. A lot of space down here, but I'm not seeing like uh, anything crazy down here. No no cave, no raw science, 
nothing yet. My scabby's not going off. No lab down here. Just water, spiny sea fleas, and pod moss. Woo! God, leave me a look at all of them. Look at these monsters. Oh my God, there's so many. And they're just following me. They won't stop. I should get out of the water and then maybe they'll leave me alone and I can get some more pod moss. Oh, I found some candy on one of the shores. No, leave me alone. Most annoying bug in grounded. Maybe. That would be a cool top five list. I'm going to make one of those. Top five worst. Top five most annoying bugs in grounded. Expect it. And this guy might be on the top of the list. Maybe. Matter of fact, in the comment section, what is your least favorite bug to deal with? Let's call it most annoying. That is not to be confused with the hardest bug, all right? That could be a whole different list, all right? But listen, most annoying bug. Let's go. Let's hear it. Check it out. There's a lab door underneath Castle Moldork. And it looks like maybe you have to get on this uh, knocked over pagoda and then jump across. Just got to figure out how to do that. I don't even know how to get out of here. Oh, you can just walk right up this little uh, edge right here. I can't believe I was able to walk up that. That was super easy. Okay. Yeah, and then you just cross over here. And there's a little branch. So you don't even need to come up here. You could probably hop out of the water right onto that branch. I'm an idiot. I just want to see if this door is even unlocked. Probably is not. Yeah, it's locked. So, we'll come back here and figure this all out in just a second. But I got what I needed. And so now, we're going to go make that sour staff. The big branch. You can get right out of here using this branch. So, perfect. Then... We're so close to home, it's just over the other side of this. We can jump down and just swim on home, which is exactly what I plan on doing. We got so much pond moss. I think I got 21. Was it in the water? Yeah, it was in the water. Told you so. Yep, you told me so, old Willie. What would we do without Willie? He keeps it up. We're going to find out what we do without Willie. I'll tell you that much. All right, we should make some sour globs now. Let's just go ahead and craft a few of those. Ooh, these sour globs look good. All right, now that I have everything we need, we craft it. Then we upgrade it. Let's take it to a five. Then you only get the mighty path, which we'll need some mighty globs for. It looks like we can take it up to a level seven. Now I need mighty jewels to go to level eight, which I have enough to go to level eight, but I'm saving those for something else, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. So here's the stats on the level seven mighty sour staff. Damage is nice, stun is out of this world, and the speed is really good as well. Also, I have the wizard hat on. I took it to a level nine sleek, which gave us a bonus perk for it. So we've got wizard's defense, which will increase our perfect block window for a short time. So we'll be able to block a little better with the staff. And we've got wizard's duel. Perfect blocks increase the damage you deal with the staffs for a short time. So they work hand in hand. So the hat's really good to have if you're gonna be using the staffs. Also, we got the mutation unlocked. Whittle Wizard. Mastering sufficiently advanced culinary technology, the apparent magic within candy staves is unlocked. Different damage types apply unique status effects to creatures. Spiciness burns, mintiness slows, and sourness stuns. So I guess we'll get even more stun, even though the stun bar is at like 10 out of 10 or whatever that is. I guess it's gonna stun a lot. Oh, we've got a, looks like a wolf spider up here. I guess we could test it on the wolf spider, although its weakness is Definitely not sour. Try it anyways. What do you do? Oh, fire. I think he jumped over it. Ah, I did a good amount of damage to him. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. So yeah, you can just kind of, oh, the little orbs bounce around. That is really cool. We should try blocking. Did it and then hit him and then did it and then hit him. And then did some more blocking and then we hit him again. And then we'll hit him again. And we'll just keep hitting. So that was fun. And the little orbs just bounce all over the place. Which is pretty cool. This is a cool staff, man. I like it. Avada Kedavra. So what I'm thinking is that we have to build a cross. I don't see a way to get up to the mouth. You can't really jump up the rocks anywhere. Which means I'm going to need a lot of grass planks to get across. So... Lucky for me, I have the badge that lets me carry more stuff, so I'm going to pop that on and go get a bunch of grass and bring it back over here. All right, let's grab all the grass we can. We'll take it back over and start making our bridge to Castle Moldork. Yeah, this, this badge I have lets me carry, I think, 15, and if I had the red ant armor set on, I could carry, I think, uh, 20? Uh, 22. I think it's 22. I tried it out the other day. It was a ridiculous amount of grass, but as you can see... 
This badge will work just fine. This should get us quite a few pieces of bridge built. We'll probably have to make about three trips. Shouldn't be that many, actually. Probably more than three. It's a it's a huge gap between the land and Castle Moldork. And boom. And then we'll just keep adding to it. Add those in. Put those in. Oculus Reparo. Idiot. And the bridge is complete. I just have to do one more little bit of building over here. It's a set of stairs I'm making. So we can get up here. I think there's a milk molar in the cage right there, too. I have to check that out. Oh, God. There's a mosquito. Please stop. All right, mosquito. This is not a very nice welcoming committee at all. It's my first time here at Castle Moldor. This is how you want to treat me? It's all right. You'll be dead soon enough. In fact, right now. Thank you. Stay there. All right. I'm going to go to sleep so we can make it daytime again. And let's start our adventure into Castle Moldork. Rise and shine, 5.30 a.m. Yeah, it's definitely a mega milk molar in the cage. We'll have to figure out how to get in there. Let's see what we've got. There's a giant walkie-talkie in here. Got some pop caps here. We'll grab those. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So I guess we probably need to go down there. But first, I want to explore the perimeter and see how to get in that cage. Oh, that's not a walkie-talkie at all. I think that's just like a voice box or something. You put a battery in, that's a speaker. And then this thing must talk. It's a big kid's toy, right? So it must talk or laugh or something. It'd be kind of cool if it did that while we were here. Oh, there's a big red button. Don't tell me not to push it, because I will. Oh, you can. All right, cool. Then we'll hit that. Exactly. <laughs> that is exactly what I expected. I mean, I didn't actually expect it to... Uh, that button to do that but i figured out what this was all right my, my scabby meter's going off there's raw science and all kind of stuff around we'll find it all don't worry Ooh, a second floor i found the raw science does not look like you can build in here either oh this would be a great spot for a base man this would be a really cool location there's even more raw science somewhere let's go to the tippy tippy top got a tower right here and a scabby this scabby is moldork and maybe if we jump on this and then do a little strafe. There we go. We're up even higher now. And there is a milk molar here. Awesome. Snatch. Another member of the welcoming committee has joined us. He's going to end up just like his pal did. Smack. Nope. Denied. Any second now. He should be dead any second now. Just die. Just die. Three, two, one. Die. There he goes. I hear a moth. There's a moth all the way at the tippy top. Kind of got to go all over this. This I guess this is like slime or mold. Mold. That would make more sense. Castle Moldork. And maybe if we jump right here. I should definitely put on my dandelion tuft now. Oh my god, we're so high up. Yeah, you can barely see the moth up there, but he's up there. I cannot figure out a way to get up there. I like I've tried all my parkour skills and they have failed me. I mean, maybe I can make that jump to that ledge right there. Let's try it. If not, this is great anyways, because the cage is right below us, and I need to float down with the dandelion tuft to get that mega milk molar anyway. So if I fail this, it's really not a fail. I didn't fail it. All right, so... Can't get up that way. Now, do I jump around this one, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Still can't get up. Yeah, this is like... I don't know. I don't know how to get to that moth. I think I can hit him with an arrow with the right angle, but... I'm not going to mess with the moth, but what I am going to mess with is this cage, right? Oh, God. Are you out of your mind? Oh, hey, sometimes when you fall, a good thing happens. I'm trying to get back up to my bridge, and I noticed this giant hole right here. So check it out. You just saw there's a milk molar down here. And then there's a scabby right here, too. My lucky day. My not-so-lucky day. I've got to get down. i got to go all the way back to my zip line. And this is horrible. Plus, as you can see, there's a fungus mess down here with all kind of exploding monsters and mushrooms. Oh, uh, you can actually, it looks like, get a little closer by going around the side here, which is what I'm doing. You can get right on it. All right, cool. And then, where's the cage opening? Right here. And then we're just going to drop down and get right on in. Second time's the charm. Did it. Great, now we can just go inside here and drop down the hole and see where that takes us. Down the hole we go. What's going to be down here, I wonder? Darkness and despair? Answers? More questions? Nothing? Oh, it was so dark over here in this corner, I couldn't see. There we go. Oh, man. 
Uh, we just dropping down? Okay, we're going in hot. No? There's a little lab down here. Well, of course, there's mosquitoes too. It's no match for me though. It's just annoying. Super duper annoying. Got him. Mysterious lab discovered. I'd say so. It's pretty mysterious. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I guess we're going in. I guess we're not going in. Everything seems to be locked. Wait, can I go through the hole? No? Dominant practical technologies. I'm trying to follow these cables and there's a door over there. Maybe that one is open, but I don't know. Do I just make a jump here? I can't really see the ledge on the other side. Let's go. Yeah, we made it. Okay. And then we come around and are you going to be unlocked or locked? Oh, good. All right, we're in here. Why is a mosquito in here of all places? At least it'll be easy to reach. I'll have you dispatched in no time, mosquito. Consider that no time at all. I'll push this button. What? Now we're back out here. Well, we got a shortcut now. But still, I don't know how to get in there. Huh. Willie, I need your help. Yeah, I figured you would. What do you need? I need to figure out how to get into the mysterious lab located at the bottom of Castle Moldork. I can't open the lab door. Ah, it's such an easy one. Is it? If you tell me I need a key, please tell me exactly where the key is. No, you don't need a key at all. Hey, don't you have a really smart scientist friend floating around in a jar that you've ignored for the last five episodes? You mean Dr. Tully? Yeah, Dr. Tully. What about Dr. Tully? Well, maybe you should go get Dr. Tully, bring him to the door, and see if he can figure it out. After all, he invented a shrink machine. He's really smart. All right, I'll try that, Willie. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You don't have to be so sarcastic all the time. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Well, you heard, Willie. We got to go get Dr. Tully and see if he can figure this out for us. Why do I hear a wolf spider at the top of my stairs? Because there's a wolf spider at the top of my stairs. Great. I'm just going to have to kill him. Get out of here, wolf. Easy. Easy. Expelliarmus. Okay, Dr. Telly, I need you to follow me all the way over to Castle Moldork. We've got some work to do. Hopefully you can help me out. I'll explain when we get there. Come on. It's all the way across the dang game. Let's go. All right, Dr. Telly, we got a locked door here. It says uh, Ominent ORC on it. Can you, help, can you help me get in? My suspicions were correct. This lab is not one of mine. All right. I knew it. Schmechter has been spying on me this whole time. <laughs> Classic Schmechter. Classic Schmechter. Now, what do we have here? Standard ominent security door? Ha! <laughs> Child's play. No offense, of course. Uh, Willie was right once again. Dr. Tully's gonna be able to get us in. It's now or never. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Let's get Burgle on the line. Burgle? All right. to hack into an ominous security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Oh, Dr. Tully, I, uh, had one. Oh, cool. So this is the first time Burgle knows that Dr. Tully's still around. That's good to hear. Entering Falcon protocol mode. Decoding manual password reset at ominous terminal K321B. Stand by. Standing by, Burgle. Hacking. 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 Still hacking. <laughs> Perhaps if you had replaced that grilling function with something more useful, we would not be waiting all day for- I'm in! All right, Burgle! Username, Schmechter, D, password, Schmechter, D, director, transmitting. Why there we go. Burgle. All right, Dr. Tully. In we go. Ooh, all kind of sciencey stuff. This is going to be great. We're going to learn some stuff in here. Oh, nice. I just learned that we got some Supreme Quartzite shards and some more marble Supreme as well. Yeah, these orc receivers. I get these from um, the orc ants and orc bombardier beetles that keep attacking me. And the orb weaver juniors. They just kind of show up randomly. Got a bunch of those. Still don't know what to do with them yet. Uh, let's go through here. Get my beat down stick ready just in case it gets crazy. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. No, stay in there. Stay in your observation thing. Look at, oh wow, there's a bunch of them. Little pods. 
Ominent Remote Controlled Insects. Maybe that's what ORC stands for. Ominent Remote Control. Probably. Well, this looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Well, I guess we press the red button. Here we go. Bravo, bravo. So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here? Face to face! Face to face! Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too, oh. left you oh, he's with getting nothing personal. but your work. How dare you, sir? At least I'm not experimenting on children! You tell him, Dr. Tully. Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. I think this is the part where you tell me your very genius plan, right? Oh, yes, of course. Like in the motion picture. Is that the role you think I play? That of the villain? Yes. Please. Too simple. Too obvious. I never planned for this when I was brought in to clean up Wendell's mess. But I did not shy away from the task. Not when I realized the magnitude of the opportunity, if properly handled. The lucrative applications were countless. Yeah, but why did you experiment on kids? Despite what my former colleague might have told you, was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of reasoning. The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? Well, just to not do it, that's one of the choices you could have made. So you did find a cure. Because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Well, I, well I'm leaving this facility alive. Let's Stay go. Right Attack. There, and this will all a boss fight. Before he oh, you can peep him. Peep. There we go, got him. Get out of the way, Wendell. You've got me in a corner. Stop it. Oh my God, Dr. Dully. Oh, it's a double cross. He's got me trapped. All right, we're good, we're good. There we go, there we go. So why is Dr. Schmechter inside of a robot body? Like, where is he actually at? Ow, ow, all right, that was not good. Just stay away from those big blobs. We'll just keep hammering away at this guy. See how my candy staff does against him. Ow. He said it tickles. He he he. What a jerk. Go it. Pete, I'm going to kill you. Thank you, Pete. How about a big hit? Big hit. Boom. So basically, we're just trying to avoid his big uh, balls of electricity. Unlike that. Unlike that. Jolt of energy. Don't give me a jolt of energy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Oh. More balls. Balls everywhere. Okay. You've got a ton of electric balls around. There's an absolute ton of them. Wendell, you can help if you wanted to. So far, you're just kind of standing around doing nothing. Or should I say floating around doing nothing? Project Orc? Oh, I know Project Orc. They're all over the backyard. You, you about to call in some help? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Stupid Orb Weaver Juniors, which can poison you. Ow, got shocked. 
There we go. Oh, my sword doesn't do anything to him. Give him a charged attack. Boom! See how you like the electricity. And another big one. Boom! I just hit him with poison cloud. I don't know if the poison's gonna have any effect on him. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Whoa, Orc Weavers! Gotta take these guys out quick so I get back to uh, Director Schmechter. Got him more than halfway now, which is good. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. More Orb Weavers. Which are absolutely no problem for me. I've got this. This is definitely a beefed up um, assistant manager fight. No, they keep sending them in. Stop doing that. Oh, Wendell did something. I actually saw him go over there and, sh and shock him. That was kind of cool. Oh, here they come again. Oh, what are those? Why? Why? Why are there lasers? Nobody needs this. Nobody needs this. Okay. All right. There's a gap. This fight is obnoxious. We got lasers again. More lasers. Get back. I don't feel anything. So he stopped. I think he stopped sending out um, spiders. And at least for now, every time he does his ground pound, the lasers cut on, which I actually prefer over the spiders, because this whole back side of the room here, the lasers can't reach you. There's enough room to kind of get around, which is pretty nice. Charge attack. Yeah. Oh, wow. Why didn't that electrocute him? Oh, God, I got shocked. I think he has some sort of weakness to sour. Seems to be doing all right. Let's see if I can get off one of my charged attacks on him. I don't know if that hit him or not. Oh god, the spiders are back? Okay, this is insane. This is insane. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm out of heals. I'm poisoned and I'm out of heals. I'm gonna die. I'm so close to killing him too. Well, wow. I feel like I'm close, but he doesn't take a lot of damage from what I'm using. I'm gonna have to study his weaknesses. He's coming back in here with a different weapon, I think, because what I have, he's not cutting it. Oh, I just remembered my sword had life steal. I could have used that to get some health back. Ah, ah, Director Schmechter. His weaknesses are busting and sour. So what we need is a sour hammer. And I bet that'll go a lot better. We got pretty close though, without having any of the uh, the meals I could have made that buffed me up. So we're gonna come back with the right weapon and the right meals and some extra heals. And we are beating Director Schmechter on the next episode. But for now, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.